let's move on to our topic, which is finding the area of a given circle. So, the area of the circle is the region or space occupied inside of an enclosed circle. In simple words, if we want to know the space covered inside the circle, we refer it as the area. Area of a circle can be determined using the formula A, which is area, is equal to pi times radius squared or to the power of 2. Or we can say that area is equal to pi r squared. Whereas A is the area of the circle, r represents the radius of the circle and pi equivalent value of 3.14. The ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameters. Through this lesson, you will be able to learn how to solve the area of a circle by using the formula a pi times r times r, or a is equal to pi r squared. So we have here another example. So study the problem below and answer the following questions. Perform this on a sheet of paper. So let us read the example. Spence bought a new clock with a radius of 6 inches attached on a wall. How much area of the wall did it occupy. So we will analyze the problem. What did Spence buy? Very good. He bought a new black. What is asked in the problem? How much will the club occupy on the wall? What are the given facts? So the given facts here is that the wall clock is or has a radius of 6 inches. In solving the problem, we will use the step-by-step -step plan to get the area. So step 1 is to identify what is the given in the problem? So the given in the problem is the radius which is 6 inches. And then, of course, the pi is constant in the area of a circle which is 3.14. So the area is unknown. In step 2, I, we will identify the, for, the formula to be used whether um, it is area is equal to pi times r times r or area is equal to pi r squared. It depends on you. And then step 3, solve for the area of a circle. So, area is equal to pi r squared. So, we will substitute it. Uh, area is equal to pi, the equivalent is 3.14, multiply it by, uh, the radius is 6 inches, and then, we will put a squared on top of it. So meaning, um, 6 inches multiply it by 6 inches. That's the meaning of that. So area is equals to, 
when we multiply uh, 3.14, multiply it by 6 inches, and then multiply it again by 6 inches, so the answer is 113.04 inches squared. Why? Why? Uh, bakit naging dalawa yung inches? Kasi, binultiply natin ng dalawang beses yung inches, kaya siya naging dalawa. Get it? Okay. So, let's study the given problem. So, number one, what is the area of a circle with a radius of 7 meter? The given is radius, which is 7 meter. So, step one, we will identify the given information. So, like on the first example, pi is constant. Even though hindi binabanggit sa problem, ay lagi nandyan, which is equivalent to 3.40. And then the radius is equals to 7 meter. So the area is unknown. Next, step 2. We will identify the formula to be used. So kung saan kayo mas nadadalian? yun yung gagamitin yung formula. So, it's either area is equal to pi r squared or area is equal to pi times r times r. Step 3. So, solve the area of the circle. So, we have, meron na tayong formula. So, now we will solve the area of a circle. So, area is equal to 3.14, multiply it by 7 meter, and then multiply it again by 7 meter. So, the area is equal to 153.86 meter squared. So, the another example is, what is the area of a circle with a diameter of 15 centimeters? So, step one, we will identify the information given. We have the diameter, which is 15 centimeter, and radius is unknown. The pi is laging constant yan sa circle, which is 3.14, and the area also is unknown. So, step two, identify the value of the radius by dividing the diameter into 2 since radius is half of the diameter. Okay? So, um, yung radius po, ang formula nito is 1 half multiplied it by the diameter. Or simply, yung diameter, i-divide na lang natin ng 2 para makuha natin yung radius. So, 15 centimeter uh, divided by, by 2, we will get 7.5 centimeter. Uh, next step, which is step 4, solve for the area of the circle. So, we have the formula of the area is equals to pi r squared. So, pi is equivalent to 3.5. 14, multiply it by uh, 7.5 and again multiply it by 7.5 centimeter. So we will get 176.63 meter square. Get? Very good. Let's have an activity. So activity 1 directions, calculate the area given its radius. So, 1 to 5 given the radius. And then, we will use the pi constant siya, which is 3.14. Perform this on your sheet of paper. So, you have only uh, 10 minutes to answer this activity. Done? Okay.
Okay, let's check. So number one, the given is, the radius is 8 meter. So, we will solve the area of the circle. Pi is always constant, which is 3.40. Oh, so, we will use the formula, area is equal to pi r squared. Uh, area is equal to 3.14, multiply it by 8 meter and then multiply it again by 8 meter. So the answer in number 1 is 200.96 meter squared. Okay? Number 2. So the given is uh, the radius is 25 diameter. So using the formula, which is um, area is equal to pi r squared, uh, we will substitute it 3.40, multiply it by 25 diameter, and multiply it again by 25 diameter. So the answer is 1,962.5 diameter squared. Next, in number 3, the given is a radius of 38 millimeter. So, we will uh, solve it using the formula area is equals to pi r squared. We will substitute the pi in 3.40 multiply it by 38 millimeter and multiply it again by 38 millimeter. So, what's the answer? 4,534.16 millimeter squared. Next, in number 4, so the given, we have 75 inches in radius. Using the formula, area is equal to pi r squared, we will substitute it. So, pi is 3.14 multiply it by 75 inches and multiply it again by 75. So, the answer in number 4 is 70,662.5 inches squared. In number 5, the last number, the given is 9 centimeters. We will find the area using uh, this formula area is equals to pi r squared. So pi is 3.14 and then we'll multiply it by 9 centimeter and multiply it again by 9 centimeter. So ano makukuha natin? 254.34 centimeter squared. Nakuha niyo ba mga bata? Magaling! Okay, let's have the activity number two. So the direction is, given the diameter of each circle, complete the table below. Perform this on a sheet of, of paper. So in number one, so uh, the given on, in this circle is 11 feet in diameter. Diameter, yeah, kasi buo, bubuhin niya. In number 2, 130 inches in diameter. In number 3, 56 meter in diameter, kasi nahati yung bilog. So, we will find the radius and the circumference. Okay, are you done? Let's um, check your work. So in number one, the given is the diameter, which is 11 feet. So, uh, paano natin makukuha yung radius? We will divide the diameter into 2. So 11 divided by 2 is equals to 5.5 feet. So, ano yung magiging area? What be the area of this circle number one. So we will multiply 3.14 multiply it by 5.5 feet and multiply it again by 
5.5 feet. So what would be the answer? Okay, 94.96 feet square. Huwag kakalimutan yun. Okay, number 2. So the given is 130 inches in diameter. So kailangan muna natin makuha yung radius niya. Before tayo mag-proceed sa area of a circle. So we will divide 130 inches into 2. So we will get 65 inches. So the radius in number 2 is 65 inches. So, pwede na ba natin niyan i-solve using the formula of, of the area of the circle kung meron tayong radius? Pwede na. So, area is equal to pi r squared. So, pi which is 3.14, we will multiply it by 65 inches. Multiply it again by 65 inches. So, we will get... 13,366.5 inches squared. Okay? Number 3, the given is 56 meter in diameter. Huh? So, we will uh, find the radius by dividing the diameter into 2. So, 56 divided by 2, we will get 28 meters. So, uh, we will uh, find the area using the formula pi r squared. So, pi, we will substitute it in 3.14 and then we will multiply it by 28 meter. Multiply it again by 28 meters. So, what would be the answer? The answer is... 2,466.76 meter square. Did you get it? Good job. For your assignment, please answer the following activity. Perform this on a sheet of paper. That's all for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.